What's up guys, Jesse LaFlair here from LaFlair Parkour. Today we are bringing you a tutorial on the pump spin. Looks something like this. Okay, super cool move, sort of flashy, free running, it's fun, it's controlled. As long as you understand the physics behind it, it shouldn't be that hard or that dangerous. Let's get started. Woo! So let's take a look at a pump spin. Now if we freeze this move halfway through, you can see that my body weight is com completely on the other side of this ledge. The goal when doing this is to keep your whole body on the same side that you want to land on. Once our body starts to come up and over, that's when we're going to have problems and fall on top or clip on the way down. We're going to talk about a lot of progressions on how to do this and do it safely and also get over the fear of doing it, right? Every good move has progressions. So let's talk about some of those first progressions. Now I think one of the easiest places to start with this move is nice and low on something. I mean, if you can find a curb next to some grass, you're golden. This is a super easy way to start to understand the movement, okay? Starting on something this low, like a curb, right? Everyone's got a curb near their house. We can definitely try this. I would start nice and low. Now, if you understand how to do maybe a reverse fault, I'll put up that tutorial right here. That might help you understand this move a little bit better, but maybe you don't need to, okay? Um, so starting with this, the importance of your hand position is huge. When we put our hands on, we want to start, if I'm going to rotate my body left, I want my left hand to start down. Once I do that, I'm going to then jump around and plant my right hand down too. The reason why my right hand is going to come in front of my left is so that when I rotate around, my hands don't get bound up. Now, if I did that same move, started with my right hand behind my left, now once I start to rotate, my hands are going to peel off. We want to try to avoid that. So now that we kind of understand the hand placement, now left hand can go here, it can go down, it's going to be up to you, personal preference, okay? From this point, when that hand faces down, you're going to start to jump your body around. Now this is another progression we can start to do as we get a little bit bigger. We can actually jump into a safety vault, okay? Once we safety out, it's good practice and it'll keep you safe once we get to the higher object. But on a lower one like this, we can pretty much come in, okay? So let's try one, nice and low. And here, we're going to jump and turn our body up and around, trying to keep our body weight on this side, the same side we're trying to end on. So I jump, place, and come back down. So sometimes the best progressions that we can find are actually trying to work backwards. Learning how to land it before we're learning how to really start the move. Um, in this case, we can get up on the ledge, get our hands into the position we know we want them, and then try to finish the move from a cat position, okay? So we're in a cat crawl position here, QM, right? We're going to lean our body. So the problem with starting up here is that our body's centered as we're trying to balance. So the key to making this progression work for you is to let your body start to lean a little bit and push your body back out over the edge, okay? So watch my body, I'm gonna to start to lean, jump, and fall. Now the cool part about doing a good palm spin is that if your body's leaning out enough, all you really have to do is jump and hold on, nice strong straight arms, and you'll come up and around your arms, and that'll be it. It's when we do a bad one, or we let too much weight go over the object, that we have to start to muscle and, and hold ourselves up to try not to hit, okay? So the better that we can keep our body on the outside of the object, the easier it's gonna be to actually do the move, because really all we're doing is falling back to the side that we came from. 
much. Now, obviously, I'm not suggesting you try this, but what I am saying is that if you're confident in the fact that you know you're going to keep your body to the left or the side of the object that you're coming back on, you could do it anywhere and be completely fine. Now, a lot of people, when they do this, end the move in, a diff in different ways. I think our eventual goal is to do a palm spin, or what I should, actually this is a palm spin, is to do a wall spin, which is essentially a palm spin on the wall. Palm spin, wall spin, same kind of thing, right? So now that we've practiced finishing the move, and you're ready to try it maybe on a more, I don't know, higher up object, and you're ready to go full on, my best suggestion would to be to try to find a corner. Now this isn't 90 degrees, this is actually a little bit more, so it's almost a little bit more realistic. This would be a good progression after a 90 degree spot. So what am I talking about, 90 degrees? I'm talking about right where the wall meets another wall, nice hard corner. The reason why I'd want you to do that is because we can practice the palm spin right here, but if I mess it up a little on the end, land where the object would have naturally continued, I still don't get hurt. So that's why starting on a corner is a really good spot, okay? Because then we can practice. As long as you can just make a line on the floor, and then you can practice doing the same move, but seeing if you clear it, or having a friend look down the line to say, hey, yeah, you definitely wouldn't hit the corner, you would have been fine on that one. That's a great way to progress this move. So after you've done the corner, you're ready to go for it, come up to a nice high ledge. You gotta figure out, okay, what, what are my bells? What are my options to get out of this move in case something does go wrong? The best way out is to do a safety through. Now, if you know what a safety vault is, uh, you probably shouldn't be doing this if you can't do a safety vault. So I'm gonna put up the safety vault tutorial right here and I'd like you to go check that out. It'll open it up in a new page. This one, page will still be up and then you can come back after watching that one. Okay, so you got that. So safety vault. So say something goes wrong. I jump up, I overcommit. Oh no! I can save myself by putting my foot down and then stepping away from it, protecting my body. Let's do even, let's do a, a worse one, okay? A lot of you guys are going to probably start this and you're going to jump up, you gotta put your hand, and you're gonna jump to the other side. Now maybe this is a good progression in the very beginning, but it's gonna teach your body bad habits, right? We have muscle memory, our brain works with our muscles, it controls us, so that if I start to practice just jumping over the object, then my body is gonna get used to that idea, and it's not gonna be that good. So I prefer starting lower, doing the whole move all the way around it, and then working your way up, going to the corner, and then finding the hard, high, nice object to do this on and show off, okay? So we come up, we jump, we spin, oh, safety, because my body was too far over, okay? So one more time. Now with a higher object like this, you'll see there's a little bit more of a technique that I'm doing, and this one is I'm actually starting with my right hand behind my left, here, and popping up. Now this is just like as if I was going to jump up to here, it's just helping me lift my body a little. So I have my left hand set where we had it. I'm rotating left, so my left one's my main pivot hand. My right one's down because I'm gonna grab, pop, and then my body's gonna stay on the outside of the object. Again, place my right, my right hand there and finish the move. Again. The cool part is, because I used this to pop, I didn't have to use my other hand. This hand was in such a good position, centered, that I only needed one hand to pivot all the way around. And that is essentially how you do a palm spin, okay? Uh, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll be sure to write back. Um, don't forget to subscribe, share this guy with any of your friends that might be able to use it. Thanks for watching. Peace out, everybody. Yeah.